Ever wondered what it'd take to move an entire city across a country in just 24 hours? Sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, doesn't it? But here's the kicker. The Romans pulled it off, not just once, but many times. So buckle up as we unravel the awe-inspiring logistics of the Roman army on the move. Picture this. The Roman legions, those iconic symbols of power, weren't just a few thousand soldiers. With auxiliary units in tow, their ranks swelled to staggering numbers. But it's not merely about sheer numbers. It's about orchestrating this colossal force from one point to another. Today, we're going to breathe life into this colossal endeavor by walking you through a day in the life of a Roman army, shuffling a staggering 50,000 souls across distances greater than the Straits of Gibraltar. The Roman army, though well-documented, still shrouds itself in mystery. The intricacies of their formations, troop movements, and march practices have puzzled scholars for ages. Imagine coordinating tens of thousands of men and animals, each marching at the pace of the slowest among them. It's a logistical dance, akin to steering a city on the go, complete with its traffic snarls. The Roman army moved in meticulous order like a colossal snake winding its way across the landscape. This symbolic serpent could stretch a staggering 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles. And that's just the main force. There were other snakes too, camp followers, livestock, and supply lines. Large armies are often divided into smaller, more manageable groups. For the Romans, four legions seemed to be the magic number. Each legion, with its legionaries, cavalry, and support staff, was a force to be reckoned with. And let's not forget the auxiliary troops, adding even more might to the Roman war machine. The day kicks off in the pre-dawn hours. Scouts and reconnaissance units are already on the move, acting as the army's eyes and ears. As dawn breaks, the camp springs to life. Meals are prepared, animals tended to, and gear packed. The march commences with scouts leading the way, followed by the vanguard, surveyors, command group, main body, baggage train, rear guard, and flank guard. Each unit has its pace, its challenges, and its objectives. It's a choreographed ballet of precision and coordination. By mid-morning, they've already covered 60% of a marathon. And remember, this is just a 20-kilometer journey for the day. The troops are in high spirits, fueled by discipline, camaraderie, and the promise of victory. Communication is key, with signal flags, trumpets, and shouts echoing across the ranks. As they reach their destination, a hive of activity unfolds. Scouts fan out, the vanguard secures positions, surveyors lay out camps, and the main body begins construction. The engineers work tirelessly to build fortifications, ensuring safety for the night. Fires are lit, providing warmth and a sense of community. The logistics of setting up a camp for 50,000 people are mind-boggling. Tents are pitched, latrines dug, and cooking fires started. The camp becomes a temporary city, bustling with activity, laughter, and the sounds of daily life. The soldiers unwind, sharing stories, playing games, and resting their weary bodies. So, why did the Romans go to such lengths? Their logistical prowess allowed them to conquer and control vast empires. They were not just warriors, they were logistics maestros. Their ability to move, feed, and support a massive army set them apart from their contemporaries. In conclusion, the Roman army's ability to move such a massive force across great distances in a single day is nothing short of mind-blowing. It's a tribute to their engineering genius, organizational skills, and indomitable spirit. So, the next time ancient history crosses your mind, remember the awe-inspiring logistics behind the might of the Roman legions.